What up, y'all? <clears throat> Excuse me. What up, y'all? Welcome to the nation. Monster Nation, that is. I'm your host. Mr. Monster Man Rocco. I'm your I'm your president. I'm your host. I'm your tour guide. I'm the owner, tenant, the janitor. I mop the damn floor. And the landlord. All that. Today I want to do something. For this blog, I want to do something different. I want to start something new. Start something. New. It's not. It's not new in thought. It's just new to y'all. I got mad stories. I'm sure y'all understand that. I'm sure y'all would assume that. You know, I'm. I'm in old. I'm in old domain. You know what I'm saying? I've been around a while, and then I'm a hip hop nigga, a, a, a rap nigga, whatever you want to call it. I've been around the industry. I've been around in the streets. Got plenty of stories. I usually blog about things that 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 I feel passionate about. What I want to do is different now because there's a lot of things that I want to I want to. This is a lot going on in the world right now, in the world of entertainment and shit. But <clears throat> I want to take a break from all that and I want to take y'all back. I want to start a new segment. It's called "Songs I Got Mad About." Make it an acronym, it's Sigma. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think I want to do it. I think I, 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 was, I was debating between the names. It's, it's Sigma and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is when I first heard it. The songs I got mad about is like songs. These songs kind of made me a hater. Just for a, a small amount of time. And I think, you know, in an era where niggas, where you can't have an opinion without being a hater. So niggas are afraid to even have opinions. I embrace the hater. You understand what I'm saying? Pause. So I want to tell y'all about songs that made me a hater. In 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 I don't know. In chapter one of Sigma songs that I got mad at. Right. I'm gonna take us back to two. The early 2000s. What year did Nelly put out Hot in Here? What year was that? Whichever year that was, I'm not sure. I'm not sitting here Googling facts. I'm shooting from the hip. Whatever year that was, if you know it, put it in the it put, put put it put it in the comments or whatever. Right? I remember myself standing in front of my crib, I was I I was living I, I was in East New York, right? Standing in front of the crib in East New York, like with my ex, right? It's like two exes ago. That's double X. Get used to this terminology. I'm not hold, I'm not about to explain everything. It's three main X's I speak about. There's the X, there's double X, and there's triple X. So we ain't going, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to put their name, none of you know what I'm saying? So this is double X. Standing in front of the house and she has a speaker. Does she have a speaker? Whoever has a speaker, I'm hearing Nelly's hot in here for the first time. Standing up, I'm smoking my early morning blunt, which might have actually been early afternoon, but you know a nigga don't get up to about 2, 2.30 on, on this punk-ass Chauncey shit, right? So, standing outside, having my moment, and this song comes on that I never heard, like, just like, new music, a new music moment, one of them shits, right? And it comes on, boom, mm, mm, y'all know how this shit, boom, boom. Boom, 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 oh! You know, shit come on. Beat drop. He set it off. Good gracious, ass, bodacious. Whatever he said in this shit. Now, like I said, you can go to my Instagram and you can see a post where one of my most recent posts was when I went live. I saved it and I clipped it and I put it out there for y'all. You know, I posted on, 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 on IG. I was talking about Melly Mel, but in the post, I was talking about how, you know, different different hip-hop. Like, you have to step inside 
a different realm to enjoy certain shit. Like certain certain things don't might not resonate with you because it ain't what you used to. It don't this hip hop don't sound like what you used to hip hop sounding like. So you know, I use Nelly as an as an example in that blog. Go check go Rockness BCC on Instagram and shit. Right, go check out one of my last few posts where I talk about the, that. Um, it's alive. You know what I mean? So, like, when Nelly first came out, like, admittedly, like, niggas are rap. I can't speak for all of New York. I can't speak for all of Brooklyn. But I can't speak for around my way. When Nelly first came out, it wasn't something that we was expecting or used to. And not necessarily, niggas wasn't necessarily jacketed as, as a whole. Me being an MC. I reserve judgment for, you know, I reserve judgment on these situations, you know, because it's, I feel like it's part of my job to look a little bit deeper. And I came to the conclusion at a certain point that it's like, this might not be our flex right here, but Ken, not just anybody could pick up a microphone and do what Nelly do. There's a certain amount of talent, there's a certain difficulty level, amount of talent that goes along with what he do. Y'all might not agree, y'all can agree or not. I don't care, right? It's not my point right now. I don't I don't I, I don't care. Right? Flow rider is another one. Health the Skelter notoriously loved Flow Rider. I don't care about your opinion. It don't matter. I rap better than you. So your opinion don't matter, right? I don't rap better than you. All right. So with that being said, when I got, when I stepped inside, you know, when I stepped outside of my box into Nelly's box, pause, right? And I listened to what Nelly do. I was like, okay, son can rhyme. Son ain't, nah, son can rhyme, right? But at the same time, this is in an era when I was younger and I still, like, like I, 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 like I signed my second solo deal shortly before this. I probably was still... And from what I remember, I was still, in my mind, I was still about to take over the fucking world. Right? I might have been out of my second deal already, but so what? In my mind, world domination was what, you understand what I'm saying? What I was trying, what was on the horizons for your boy Don Rocco, right? So, with that being said, you got to watch the landscape. So when some new, and I'm sorry for rambling about it. It's the ADHD. It's, it's, it's a t fucking textbook uh, symptom of ADHD. I run, I'll give you the whole backstory to get to the point. I apologize, right? But <clears throat> I was like, I said to myself, okay. I need to listen to this right quick. It's coming on. I'm like, I'm going to listen to this. Let me listen. In my in in the spirit of the greater nigga MC that I am, right? I'm hoping that this shit, you know, this shit ain't that good, honestly. You understand what I'm saying? Salute to Nelly. No disrespect. I'm just speaking from a con from a competitive standpoint. You understand? I'm hoping this shit ain't that good, right? So he starts rhyming. Right back to that. He starts rapping. Good gracious asses, both days. Uh, and I'm like, okay, he's doing him. Right? I don't feel like he going crazy. This is this is radio friendly rap. Like he's doing what he need to do. I'm not blown away by this. Pause. Right? But it's good. It's solid for the realm of Nelly. I'm like, okay. This is all right. Okay. It's good. I'm like, okay, okay. Skip that. Get to the hook. The fucking hook comes on. And Nelly says, and I repeat, you all know it. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I heard that. I'm like, okay. That's that's that smooth. But when the chick I originally thought this was, was, I originally thought it was, was Khalees singing on that because in my mind, I thought if Pharrell made the beat, then, and it was a chick singing on it, that it was 
Khalees, because a lot of Pharrell's, a lot of the Neptune's earlier beats, you know, Khalees was like another instrument in the arsenal, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't even a voice. She wasn't even a person. She was an instrument that they, and I, and I say that, and I, and I say that lovingly, like, as a compliment, like, she was a dope instrument. So, when I heard a Pharrell beat, and I heard a female vocalizing on it, I thought it was Khalees. If that wasn't Khalees, let me know, because, in, in the comments, because I ain't sure if my whole, I'm not doing the research. I'm, I'm shooting from the hip. Understand what I'm saying? So, um, when I heard the response, Nelly said, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your, the response, I am getting so hot, I want to take my clothes off. When I heard that, I said, we are stuck with this nigga. I knew it. Like, officially, that right there cemented this nigga's career in my mind. I was like, we are stuck with this nigga for the foreseeable future. I promise you. I knew that instantly. You hear me? That speaks to my ability to know a hit. You understand what I'm saying? So, yes, this is a song I got mad at. Sigma, episode one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, got, I, I was tight, not mad, mad, but mad. I was like, this nigga ain't going nowhere. And I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. And I was right. Like, son, literally, you know what I'm saying? Stuck around for quite some time. Even, like, he ain't making records... You know, he ain't really doing all of that now, not that, to my knowledge, but his legacy is cemented. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to take away what Nelly did. You know what I mean? I mean, salute. I'm a little heartbroken by the, 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 the shit going on with the St. Lunatics right now. Ali and Nelly, you know what I mean? Beefing and whatnot. Because like I, because as, as I stated before, once I stepped outside of my New York boat, my New York bias, and listened to Nelly, I was like, this nigga can actually rap, right? I was actually a fan of the St. Lunatics as well. I know a lot of you niggas from around my way probably wasn't. You know, I'm not to judge y'all. I'm not I'm not putting on y'all, but I know a lot of niggas around my way probably wasn't. But I was. What you think come from a farm? Like, I, I fucked with that. You know what I'm saying? That's a line from a single. Um, Like the first ball from... Anyway, I digress. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, I, I hate to see, you know, I don't like to see Nelly and, you know, all of the content with, with Ali going at Nelly and or, or whatever. Like, it just, but I, I also understand that that's what happens. Like, like, all of that shit happened. Like, boot camp, boot camp, we came together in the fucking 90s, right? That's, <laughs> this is, we talking 25, 30 years ago, right? Think about it, like. How many, if if anybody who's not a rapper, if you're not part of a rap group or music group or anything like that, how many friends do you have from 25, 30 years ago? And, and, and if you do have these friends, do y'all still run together? Do y'all still work at the same job? So it's to be expected. I understand and all of that. But as a fan, I understand why the fans be feeling the way they be feeling because, because you love that. That, that that thing that they did together. You know what I'm saying? I know, I'm part of a crew. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We missing one of our pieces. You know what I mean? We be um, we be all getting this shit. Sometimes taking too long to, to put the... We ain't put together... Pro I know how the fans be feeling this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. If you made it to the end of this video, um, put up a... Put up a microphone. Yeah, put up a microphone. Or, no, four music notes. Because this is the Sigma. These are songs I got mad at. Four music faces. Or you could put four mad faces. <laughs> With whichever one you feel. It, it, it makes a difference. It, help, it helps the channel and all that. Monster Man Rock, I'm out. Um, have a great day. Get 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 that Ether Rocks. Get it. It's out there. It's fully produced by Ron Browse and stuff. You know, it's the, it's, it's, it's the style clash. And, it's ridiculous. It's better than anything you're listening to. Go check out that What You Got Strength by Boot Camp Click. 
and be on the lookout for this um the, the new single off of Ether Rocks and this new album called Crownsville with me and my brother Rusty Jooks. You know what I mean? Rock with your boy.